die right cause they can't miss All about the game, that's a cold swish Serving up the truth, call it ruthless Tune in and get your fix from Blake and Bish Sports Me or one through seven, what are you thinking? What are you predicting is going to happen? Mm-hmm. So I have, I'd, I'd say similar to the AFC, I have like three teams in the tier one. Um, and those teams are the Buccaneers at one, the Packers at two, and then the Rams at three. I think those are kind of the top of the line teams that I'm really confident in being there. Fourth seed, the NFC least, I have the New York Giants. That division was just, I hated predicting that because I could see three of those teams being in this spot at the end of the year. But I did go with the Giants. Fifth, I have the Seahawks. Sixth, I have the Vikings. Seventh, I have the San Francisco 49ers. Um, I guess the biggest teams missing from here or from other places, I guess, like the teams outside, I have the Cardinals who I could see making it. They're my odd team out in the NFC West, but I could really see them making it. The Saints, they maybe could, depending how famous Jameis plays. You never know. That man is a wild card. And then the Washington football team, I'm just not the fan, not the biggest fan of Fitzpatrick, although he's probably better than Alex Smith. So I actually have the same seven teams. This is hilarious. And I also have the same three teams that I think are missing it out and missing out. And I think New Orleans and Arizona are actually capable of complete competing for yes. a wild card spot. I said Washington because there's a good chance they could win the NFC East, but um, that's why I have them. I don't think they're captured. I don't think the NFC East is sending two teams to the playoffs. But I think well, all three teams outside of Philly have a great chance of winning that division mm-hmm. with some eight and nine bad record and going to the playoffs. But I actually think the NFC uh, uh, has is is a one tier. Uh, there's one team that I think is head and shoulders above, and then there's one thing, one team that I think is closer to that team than other teams, and then I think the rest, top to bottom, really are kind of in the same conversation. I think the NFC, especially the better teams in the NFC, fill out the you know like the six to ten, six to eleven best teams in the NFL. But I, I think right. the top tier elite teams are in the AFC. So I obviously have Tampa Bay one. To me, they're that elite team. I, there's not a weakness in their roster. The only thing that could stop them from not being great, especially when you look at their schedule, is if Tom Brady's age finally catches up to them. They, they have great running backs. They have great wide receivers. They have a great offensive line. They have great depth in all three of those positions. They have a deep and phenomenal defensive line. They have incredible linebackers, and they have a young – deep and talented secondary filled with hyper athletic players. That's Mm -hmm. only going to get better. So top to bottom, the fact that they retained all their coordinators, especially Todd Bowles, who's excellent. Who's an excellent defensive coordinator. They're one to me Um, Two, I had green Bay. I just think first, first things first with green Bay and um, picking them to be a high regular season seed is they don't lose it. Lambeau. I think that's the most important thing. Green Bay doesn't lose at Lambeau. That's an elite home field advantage. Yeah. And so that makes. I was just going to say, yeah. Matt LaFleur has just been wiping the floor with the NFC North the past two years. I don't exactly. think, they, I don't think they've lost a game, maybe one in his two years here. So that's, I just want to throw that in there because not many people know that's, that. Yes, that's definitely important. Not to mention they obviously have to me the best quarterback in the conference in Aaron Rodgers. And mm-hmm. so you look at that. I thought the receivers actually got a little bit better with Amari Rogers, Randall Cobb. Like I thought they surprisingly made that more viable besides Devontae Adams. I think Robert Tunyon mm-hmm. will be better. Obviously, back to Yari not being there is going to be a funny. little bit of a big blow. But by all accounts, everything I read, Packers, Elton Jenkins, Elton has been Jenkins. killing it at left tackle killing it at left tackle in camp. And I, I figured, you know, Green Bay has got some no-name a guy that they drafted in the sixth round who's going to be ready to start all 17 games this year at one of their offensive line positions. And they do, do a have job. a fourth rounder. Royce Newman, he was a tackle from, I want to say, Ole Miss. They got him in the fourth. But he's the starting – he's going to be the starting right guard. And then they have Josh Myers, who they took in the second. It's going to be a starting right. starter. But, so I yeah. and look at their history with centers too. When you go down the list of just their last two centers, J.C. Treader, who's one of the better centers in the NFL for the Browns, and then Corey Lindsley, who was just the highest paid center in the NFL because most people considered him to be the, and I'm amongst them, to be the best center in the NFL. So mm-hmm. 
I, I think Green Bay, because of that, will be the second seed. I have the Rams third winning the uh, NFC West, and I'll explain why I have them winning the NFC West. I think the NFC West is going to be a dogfight between yeah. Seattle, San Francisco, and the Rams. Like When I say the Rams are going to win the division, it's not that I think the Rams are going to be 12-5 and five and the Niners will be 10-7. and seven. I think all three teams will be right there upon each other, but there's a reason, and I'll explain in a bit. Um, four, I have the Giants. I just think they're the most talented roster, top to bottom, in the NFC least. And I, I think this is the year, and I've talked about how I have a little bit more belief in Daniel Jones. I really believe he can be a top 20 quarterback in the NFL, and a top mm-hmm. 20 quarterback in the NFL with a good roster can make the playoffs. Five, I have the Niners. Um, six, I have Seattle. And seven, I have Minnesota. So we have the same seven teams, a couple of different changes in the order. I think we have the first two the same, three and four the exact same, and then five, six, and seven is a little bit different. But let's get right into that.